Hey guys, v here with another V Plays, and we're taking out the TA-152 for a bit of a redemption round. I finally upgraded all of the equipment to advanced, and I've also gone back to the long barrels on these cannons, trying to see if maybe, not necessarily volume, but trying to get these guns on target a little bit more. I know that they can do 420 damage in a single hit, uh, but again, it's just going to come down to pulling the right lead and getting that good initial volley. It reminds me a lot of like flying the Yak series, like the Yak 7 through Yak 9U, where you just got to get those shots to line up. And if you can't, then that's on you. Uh, we actually swapped out the lightweight wing frame as well for the polished skin because I wanted to maintain a decent amount of airspeed. Uh, and staying up at altitude and waiting for the enemy, that's what I'm going to be doing here. So... Maybe one of these guys will come up to meet me. Looks like we got a taker right here. Not the best hit. That was a little bit better. Take that one. Good hit on the straggler. For defense aircraft like this. Works out really well. I'm going to head over to the airfield, get some of that altitude back. Sleek looking aircraft. Really cool. It looks like a super version of a Faka Wolf. Let that boost cooler and keep that climb going. What do we got around here? That's a P-51. There's a lot of damaged aircraft over here as well. Oh, no joy. I may have just fed him that kill. Oh, I feel you. Oh, who are you? Oh, it's a Jawa. We're in trouble. I should have paid attention earlier. We're asking for this kill right here. We're going to get knocked out. Well, we got that guy, though. And we're leaving the zone. We're slowing him down from getting this area. What do we got? Very low hit point defense aircraft. Good kill. Solid hit. Try the snapshot. No joy. Got him in the zone. Woo. And the other airfield's still up for grabs, so let's get that altitude back. Climbing up to meet this Faka Wolf 190. We'll hit the boost cooler. He looks like he may have sacrificed a lot of airspeed to get up here. Good hits, good kill. Who's this? Human controlled. Ooh, I didn't get the kill, but I definitely think that we helped. So 335. Don't mind if I do. Good hit on the tail. Got him. Yeah, I don't think there's much left here to kill. Should be able to take on the heavy defense aircraft. He says with hope in his voice. Ah. There it is. Found the sweet spot. I don't know, Ray.
Oh, he's hurting. We gotta pull away, though. Got Akamatsu. Oh, whoa. What just hit us? Our airfield is under enemy control. We, need to we just got a phantom hit from something. I couldn't even tell you what it is. We'll get the engine back. That was weird. Heading over to the enemy command center, though. Good hit. Not so good hit. Solid hit. All right. Got the zone. Keep that altitude. Keep that altitude. Started heading back towards the center. Looks like somebody's putting a lot of work into killing the bomber flight. So that's going to work out well for us. I see you, Phineas. Phineas doesn't care about me. I don't care about Phineas. We'll queue up that specialized aircraft. What else do we got here? Okay. Seafang was on... Wow. Will not be now the sea fangs on us. Dip the nose. Use that polished skin. Can we get away? I think we just did. I don't think there's anything more accurate than that first volley with this thing. So you really got to choose your opportunities here. Like that. Let the guns cool off completely and just get in there for a good solid hit. Keep it up. Victory is almost ours. It. Not the best. It's Squall Line. Ooh, this could be the last thing that I do here. Well, if I'm going to dogfight a Jawa, I feel like that's the best way to do it. Good job, guys. Oh, that's my own fault. I lined myself up for that one. I thought that I would be able to get the jump on him, but no such luck. One of the things I've been discovering with the TA-152 is while the guns do have the potential to hit like a Mack truck. Uh, they aren't nearly as consistent as I've had in other aircraft. So I can get that good initial slam of the guns, but how much damage it does really depends on where those shells end up falling. Now, I've heard discussion when some of my other TA-152 videos of, well, are you sure that it's been nerfed? Are you sure that it's actually lost some of its capability? I do believe that that's still true because even with Marksman 2 long barrels, uh, advanced long barrels and advanced gun sights, I'm still getting a lot of wing hits even when we're pretty much right on target. And I think that has a lot to do with the spread. Now, some of you may be thinking that, well, I watched your rounds hit the aircraft, but they didn't register. It must be something broke in the game. Well, bear in mind that those bullets are still going in the straight line and are falling inside the imaginary cone of your your shock group. But they aren't actually representative of what's hitting the aircraft. When the game does the calculations to figure out what is actually... Threw up a GG here. Uh, what actually ended up hitting the aircraft, it's shooting that shotgun spread out there and then the game computes, okay, where did we want to say that the bullets hit? And it isn't always going to line up with the tracers. That might not make sense for everybody and I might be way off base, but that's the way that it was explained to me and the way that I understand it. So it's more like every time your shells go out, somebody's shooting a flashlight on the target 
and the bullets could fall anywhere inside of where that lit up spot is on the target of course expanding as you get further away and the tracers aren't exactly representative of that you're still perfectly fine for being able to calculate where you should be dropping your shots though so it is a good identifier but let's take a look at the post game stats as i just closed them here we ended up picking up the flyer warring bet the flying warrior badge we got the conqueror we got the akamatsu and effective fire we got over eleven thousand personal points and we managed to take out 15 aircraft a heavy five multi-rolls and a light fighter and then eight air defense aircraft which were pretty much just one shot deletes for a lot of those things i mean maybe two shots you can see here there's a pretty massive list of crits that we got and we didn't make king, king tiger's day any easier by knocking out one of his gunners as well as lighting him on fire we didn't get the kill for that one but i'm willing to bet we got a lion's share of the points from it we managed to walk away with a grade two as well which is very respectable and our capture points, 440 capture points while attacking zones, and we contributed to capturing four sectors, command centers and air bases. So this is goes back to the old adage that I put out there many, many times before. Always be capping. Those are the ABCs of this game, so if you're not getting capture points and contributing to getting zones, then you're not really helping your team out as much as you think that you are. Uh, like I said, I did change the setup a little bit here. We are running advanced equipment across the board. I dipped away from maneuverability and kind of went more with a more speed oriented, I guess, with a polished skin with still carrying the lightweight power unit. Of course, rolling for it, acceleration without boost as well as cruise speed to be able to keep us up at those decent air speeds. We aren't setting a ton of records with this thing, but it is enough to be able to hold its own and essentially dip the nose and pull away from the enemy which is what we did against that sea thing these three 30 millimeter mark 103s i still think are totally serviceable and i am glad that i specialized the aircraft and i hope to continue to build on this pilot and build my skills with the airframe i do think that it still suffers from the nerf and i do understand why uh, I'm sure a lot of people weren't really appreciative of getting killed by an aircraft they couldn't even close distance with because pre-nerf with this type of setup or even ultimate gear, you weren't even able to get within the 3,000 foot bubble of this aircraft because they'd kill you outright. I can't tell you how many times I saw TA-152 TA down at about 3,000 feet while I was at around 10,000 feet and thought, eh, He's not going to be a problem, but he lifted his nose, climbed about a thousand, four thousand feet, and just shot straight up and killed me at 10,000 feet with like one or two shots. And that first hit, it's just so startling because you hear this crash like glass shattering in, in your kitchen or something in the middle of the night. And then you look down and all your hit points are gone and a bunch of your modules are damaged. So not only is it a jarring experience but it's also a crippling engagement as you saw from that critical damage list so anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed taking another look at the ta152 and as always i'll catch you on the next one